Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. Uh, I am of course Median and I will be your guide through the wasteland. So uh, at the moment what I'm doing is wandering around trying to uh, come and drop some food and ooh, a spike. That'll be useful. Uh, let's go and drop some food and uh, not starve. So we got ourselves looking for some just some veg. Here we go. Got some veg. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, ideally, when summer rolls around, so we're about half a month away from summer. Well, when summer rolls around, ooh, bird eggs. Yes, please. Um, we'll be starting some farming. Uh, there'll also be a little bit more food uh, that will be recoverable from foraging. Because uh, there'll be strawberries and blueberries and a few other things scattered around that we'll be able to uh, forage that's not ripe yet. Uh, I think we've got a fair amount of, of veg now. Some wire, cool. Yes, herbs. Mm -hmm. All right, I think that's a fair amount of veg. They'll probably do us good for a while. Uh, veg se does, it seems to take a while before it goes off, so uh, that should be fine. Okay. So, let's get back to work. Uh, we're just going to cook up a little bit first. Good, and drink. Excellent. Now, where were we? So, we want to... Do we actually want to do anything with the bus? Right, we need to get... Nope, too heavy. Um, we need to get the Humvee a little bit forwards so that we can... Uh, build up... There we go. Uh, so we can build up a little bit of a barrier at the front. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, before that, let's disassemble this barrier. So we're going to disassemble the uh, heavy frame, the heavy duty stuff on the front of our Humvee. There we go. All right, and now we can go and, uh, I'm wondering, I, I think I would like to reinforce, wouldn't be able to get the frame in with the wheel though. That's the biggest problem. I would love to reinforce the bus, but we can't. Um, so we're going to have to make sure, ooh, a military composite ram. Ooh. We can't put anything in front of the ram, though, and I do want these spikes. So, heavy-duty frame it is. Uh, yeah, do this one. And heavy-duty frame, we'll do this one. And heavy-duty frame, we'll do this one. Uh, eventually, when we do find the jack, we can always rebuild it then, you know. Uh, heavy GD frame of this one. Now, we are going to install... Um, where is it? No, 
not that one. We're looking for... Okay, can't do that. What, what do we have here? Military comes to plating. Um, that one just can't make it at the moment. Heavy duty quarter pink. Well, that one needs steel plating. Uh, we need an armor wheel for that, so that's a no. Oh, they roller drums are oh, so fun. Um, Table. Right up. Uh, where is it? You know, these are guns, so none of those. Military, oh, military composite armor, we need level 6 in mechanics, that's why. Alright, so we need more mechanics to get the composite armor. Um, I think we might also need to get the quarter mat. What about the quarter? Where's the quarter mat? I mean, we have the frame. Why can we not have quarter panel? Maybe if we disassemble the actual quarter panel. Yeah, maybe they're just completely different things. But if we disassemble heavy duty quarter panels, then we should be able to reassemble them on the bus. There we go. The duty core panel. Okay, there we go. Um, for some reason, it didn't want to um, do it. All right. Sure, why not? Heavy duty quarter panel. And this one. <sighs> Alright, so we've got the quarter panels. Uh, eventually, we are going to end up with uh, reinforcements, right? Um, but for now, that should be fine. <laughs> we have a bit of a weirdo. Um, let, let's get some food and drink, and then we'll sort out the rest. So, a uh, bit of food. We shall make some deluxe scrambled eggs, because, for they are delicious. As soon as we turn on our eye lights. Okay. Uh, we shall get some deluxe scrambled eggs. Okay, and drink some water. And then we shall go to sleep. There we go. All right, having a bit of a nap. Uh, are we awake yet? No, not yet. Almost. There we go. Alright. Drink. Eat. Be productive. Um, what we want to do is want to get rid of that little dodgy corner piece here. The, this little dodgy quarter panel. So, what we'll do is we'll remove the quarter panel. And we will install... 
really should move all our stuff over, huh? And we will install... Uh, I, want to, I want to install a heavy duty quarter panel because... Um, I want to install a heavy duty one because it covers our wheels and we want to armor that as much as possible. So heavy duty quarter panel and vertical. There we go. Is there... No, there is not. Oop, wrong one. Yeah, no, that just looks weird. What about a H? Uh, that one also looks kind of weird. All right, we'll remove the H. I will install it as... What about this one? Again, weird. All right. We'll just put a straight up one then. Okay. It's not the best, but it'll do. Okay, so we got a heavy duty front. Uh, where are our headlights? There and there. Okay, now they're fine. We'll repair that. We've got a quarter panel that needs to be patched up, so there we go. Uh, can't do the wheel, but we can do this frame. And this frame, and this frame. And we can do the battery, perfect. Alternator, yes. Can't do the engine yet. Well, we'll patch up what we can, and repairing does help train you as well. So if you have the battery, then repair when you when and where you can. All right. So you do get experience for all of this stuff, uh, and that will help you get all your other stuff up nice and high. Oh no, we don't want to, we're burning through an oxy torch. No, stop. Uh, we've been burning through oxy torch. All right, let, let's let's just move stuff in. What we need to do is we need to get some cargo bays, right? So we need some cargo bays. Um, what we now the best cargo bay is going to be. Where is it? We don't have it, but I'll, I'll show you which one it is. It is... Down here somewhere, probably. Chimes? A bunch of stuff here. Okay, well, it's going to be this, but we don't have a stabilized portal, and we're not going to get one anytime in the near future. Um, but the best one in the meantime is uh, what's found in various box vans, right? Um, and it's got a cargo capacity of a thousand. So, what we want is we want to basically go and raid one of those. Now, we could do it in this thing, and I think I will. So, We'll unload everything first. There we go. And we'll go for a bit of a drive in our frame of a vehicle. And we're going to see if we can find a box van or something like that. Oh, oh, got to back up. We really don't want to be running over anything because we no, don't really have the, well, anything to not get blown up. And we don't want to lose any frames and or lose any wheels, even worse. Uh, how, how are we doing for... No, nope. not down there. Ooh, security van might have one. No. 
Is that a box vent or a security vent? What's that? That's a cube vent. All right, that's perfect. Whoop. No, 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 no. Slow down. I do believe that a cube vent can do it. Now, we're going to stop. Uh, get a little bit further ahead. We're going to stop. We're going to wait for the zombie to get up, catch, to start catching up. And then we're just going to back over him. There we go. There we go. Uh, there. Okay. Uh, let go of the controls. Run out. Butcher him. Butcher him. Now, we've got cube hippie van here, and that's not what we want, because we don't want the standard one. We want... Damn it! These aren't the ones either. So that's a box. That thing's not good enough. That's a trunk. That's only got 650. <sighs> that's a security van. That's only a standard trunk as well. I mean, I, I suppose a standard trunk will do if we can't find anything better, but I really wish we had the better one. All right. <sighs> Just a standard trunk will do. And we do have those anyway, right? Um, because this thing has three of them, so... All right, back home we go. Let's not ram into another car or a bus. Ah, that'll look. Stop. Uh, what's going to take to remove these? Uh, we need that wrench back. Uh, looks like we've dropped our wrench. Okay, we've got a hacksaw. Oh, a toolbox had the wrench. Right. Um, so we want we want this reinforced windshield as well. Because it's awesome. There we go. Good. Alright, um, we want to transfer this stuff down, then we're going to transfer everything across. Huh, we have reset, suffered injuries. Interesting. I think probably because we rammed a zombie. Uh, and we didn't have a seatbelt either. Yeah, we would have rammed a zombie without a seatbelt. And we hit a car without a seatbelt as well. So yeah, don't hit things without a seatbelt. Uh, let's cook up some more deluxe scrambled eggs, for they are tasty and filling. Um, right, so what do we need? Well, well, let's get this stuff inside, let's get this stuff inside. No, it's not inside, because it's, you know, down on the ground, but it'll do. Okay, so what we do now is we will load up, we'll install some trunks. And I think we do actually have some. Here we go, trunks. All right, so it requires a steel frame and holds 650. So not the best, but it'll do. So trunk, and put another trunk here. And another trunk here. And another trunk here. And now that I think about it, uh, this is going to be a crafting section, so I'll put the trunks on the other side. Trunk, there we go. 
All right, so all this I'm patching up. Right, let's start from the front. Can't do the wheels or the engines. Uh, let's actually have a look how we're doing. So we've got 48% at the moment, right? So uh, windshield. Frame. Windshield. Wow, that really should not have been damaged. We've got to move that tank inside. Having it out on the side there can make it very easy to hit damage. And if it gets damaged enough, it could blow up. And then, goodbye game. Okay, can't repair that. Just a roof then. Mm -hmm. All right. Put a Oh, we still need a frame over here. Um, yeah, we'll just do a standard frame. Okay. And we'll need a floor trunk. Good. Uh, we need a roof too, for that matter. Alright, so that's all good. Alright, how are we doing on skill? 70% on level 5. That's not too bad. Uh, we made a fair amount of experience. Um, doing things like repairing is not going to give you too much experience until you're um, reasonably high. I think we actually gained a level? Did we gain a level? Double check the recording. I think we might have gained a level. Anyway. Um, yeah, so it's possible that uh, you're not going to get very much... Ex uh, you're not, you don't expect to level up off, you know... Um, simple things like that, uh, once you're relatively high level, you know, so, yeah, charcoal, forge, and charcoal, so we'll grab those, and we'll drop them in here, and put the wild vegetables in there as well, okay, um, so what's next on the list? Well, the next on the list is basically going to be disassembling everything we can, um, and probably doing a lot of reading. So we have our solar panels, right? So we're going to turn, we'll turn on our eye lights. Okay, we're going to close up our door. And we're going to hunker down. Oh, I think we have run out of water. So we better boil up another batch of clean water. Good. We're down to 22%, but there's plenty of water in the actual um, building, so it's not a big deal right now. Okay. Let's do some reading. Uh, so what we need, what do we need? Well, first up, we want to do some, uh, where is it? Mechanical mastery, here we go, mechanics, All right? So we want to finish off our, our level five so we can get it up to level six. 
And once we get it up to level six, we'll be able to do the repairs on the solar panels. There we go. So, well, can we do the repair on the engine now? Yes, we can. Good. All right, now it won't it won't fail to start every once in a while. Um, you know what? Firearm waterproofing. Cool. What do we? What kind of stuff do we get? A few things. Okay. Let's just cook all the vegetables. Uh, oranges have gone rotten. When you have all your food stockpiled like that, it is important that you do manage all your, especially where you're going to be cooking, it is important that you do manage all your rotten stuff because um, the food does not care whether it's rotten or not. It will use it for cooking anyway, and then you'll poison yourself, and then you'll spend the next few hours throwing up everywhere. So do make sure that you do keep that in mind. Uh, more cooked veg, and we will go ahead and take a nap. Okay. Good, we're now awake. Let's keep reading. So, our mechanical mastery book is uh, satisfactorily uh, satisfactorily complete. What we'll do real quick is we'll actually redistribute all of our gear. So we've got 2,600 um, mass worth of stuff, right? So we're going to go ahead and transfer it all. Yeah. A lot of it's not going to fit until we get to the trunks. But that's right. So what we'll do then is um, I'll go, we'll go, we'll sort these out and then we'll start the real work of distribution of that and reading up. Um, reading up is going to be relatively boring. So I might uh, read up a few skills and just get a fundamental levels. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, depending on what we'll do, uh, we want to get those skills up and we want to um, get a nice character that we can go. We might also want to raid the bookstore, because uh, we did uh, mush a few zombies, but we want to raid that bookstore and there is a evac shelter up here that we might want to visit. Uh, bookstore might have some books that we want. Uh, once we get our mobile fortress working, uh, we'll raid... We want to. I want to raid the, that pawn shop, just in case it's got a jack by chance. Um, so I want to raid that pawn shop, and I want to raid the coffee shop. I want to check out the furniture stores, and I want to hit the bookstore. Uh, once we've got that cleared, uh, we might hit the power sta substation and uh, strip it of all of its electronics. Or, but we know where it is, so it's not that bad. Um, and then we got fast food restaurant, and we'll go do a sweep around the arts, around the back of this town, and see how we're doing. Um, see what we can find, because there is a park over here, so there's definitely more of this town here. Finally, once we uh, clear this out, uh, we'll probably hit this road, I think, and see what's over there. But for now, I'll put a break in the video. Um, so like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you tomorrow, or whenever the next episode goes up.